Fans and book lovers were thrilled to meet the author behind Time's best-selling debut novel, Children of Blood and Bone, the first book in the Legacy of Orisha trilogy. I, I want to like stress that I felt like a kid again reading this book. It's been such a long time since I've been excited about a book. The Lip Bar hosted New York City book launch for novelist Tomi Adeyemi's highly anticipated sequel, Children of Virtue and Vengeance, held at the Lovinger Theater. It was so important for us to bring authors like hers and these big literary stars to our community because we absolutely read and we want to, to highlight that. Owner of the Lip Bar, Noel Santos, had big dreams on opening the bookstore after the closing of Barnes & Noble in the Bronx. Today, the Lip Bar is the one and only bookstore in the borough. Santos explains the importance of having meet and greets like these to inspire people to live up to their dreams. It's important for us to see um, Professions that are not accessible to us in our communities because you can't be what you can't see. So it's important to know that you can be an author like Tomi Adeyemi. You Maybe you, you want to be a bookseller like Noel Santos. An emerging author and college student shares her experience here at the book signing. This is my first actual time meeting an author and being a black author myself. This has been like probably the most emotional time for me she just gave me her email to contact her about being a writer. She reminded me that it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, it doesn't matter where your family originated, we all kind of have the same background. And no matter where they are, we're all gonna be somewhere. We're definitely gonna be somewhere great. As a kid, Tomi always wondered, what if Harry Potter had been African? Now as an adult, she's cultivating her thoughts into reality. Reporter for Bronxnet, Ashley Tiffany.